that Israel wasn't founded through ethnic cleansing. They just had to do that numbers-wise, okay? Now, I want to say something else. This doesn't mean that Jews were almost wiped off the face of the earth. Like, this doesn't mean that there wasn't a Holocaust. This doesn't mean that Jews really almost were destroyed, okay? But that, sadly, does not mean that the country that was founded wasn't founded through ethnic cleansing, okay? Does that make sense? All right. So, yeah, someone called me a disgusting name in the in the chat, too, which is really, I'm, I'm convinced. Now I'm actually a right-wing Zionist because someone used this disgusting sexist misogynist word. So you guys have not received, whoever did that did not receive the, uh, the Hasbar training. You guys are supposed to pretend you're woke. Um, so, uh, I just find this painful, and I honestly, I hate the stereotype it perpetuates. I just fucking hate it. Like, I'm so embarrassed as a Jew. I'm so embarrassed. Now, that's not really the, the, the most important part of this. The most important part of this is that literal, literal just stating facts on the ground will get you canceled, censored. I would love to see, I would love to have been a bug on the wall uh, watching this to, to see, like, what, who said what. But um, I'm pretty sure uh, that the person weaponized and used anti-Semitism and pretended that this was anti-Semitic, and it's just so gross, and I'm so upset about it, and uh, who cares about what I think about it? I mean, obviously, this is, like, I can't imagine how upsetting this would be. Like, to, to Palestinians, to Arabs, Arab Americans, Muslims, Muslim Americans, like, it's just, it's awful. And, um... Uh, it's awful. But again, I, it just drives me crazy because I know that these people, I know that these people are telling people that it's anti-Semitic and it's not. And it's okay because they're losing the, 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 they're losing the, you know, the court of public opinion. They are losing it. But, uh, like, what the hell happened? Did his agent, like, it's so gross. Who the hell called him? And I really like this guy. And you know what? It is, I'm sorry, it's different for, it is different from Bernie. Because, uh, I, I do, I think it's different from Bernie. Because I, I think Bernie, being a celebrity, and he's a great actor, and he does so much good stuff for the world, Mark Ruffalo. But, like, it is a bit different. You have, like, you have, he doesn't leverage his power the way that Bernie does. And maybe I'm wrong, but whatever. This is... This is also, it's, there's something grosser about it, because honestly, let's be honest, like, Sanders is not where we are on Israel-Palestine, and maybe he is, but he's not going to be that way publicly, because he's a senator. And I'm not apologizing for her, this isn't, this isn't apologia. Um, but, like, it would be so, it would be so not Bernie, but it would be gross if Bernie tweet said something and then recanted it. Like, that's what's so gross about this. Like, I almost wouldn't, I almost would be, like, less upset if he never had tweeted anything, uh, if he just, like, gave some both sides of the bullshit that, like, you know, is going around. But this is worse, because this is just gross, and it feels like exactly the thing that anti-Semites say. That's what drives me crazy. It's like, do you understand how you're just helping perpetuate this stereotype? Okay. So this is me venting. It's not. I'm not being very inviting to to, to Mark Ruffalo. He's not canceled. I will say he's not canceled. I think that it's um, disappointed. I think that it's gross to watch it, and I think that um, uh, yeah, I think that it's uh, it's upsetting. And. Um, yeah, I mean, Ruffalo is more free than Bernie to say what he believes. Yeah, I, again, again, like, I I don't want to talk about the Bernie thing, and then maybe it's because I'm such a big fan of his, but it's just upsetting. I think Bernie was, I don't like what Bernie said, and again, the reason I don't like what he said was because uh, it took, it's just not right, because uh it's literal apart apartheid, and again, we know that because Israeli human rights organizations said that. And again, I didn't mean, uh, I don't mean to censor, like, Jewish voices on this issue, 
but I keep saying that because of two things. One is like it's 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 relevant, first of all. It's not the only important thing. It's relevant, but it also just undermines the foreign we have to just 